when you want to get rid of these jagged edges, there are a couple of things you can do. One thing is to uh, decrease the triangle size. So make the triangle smaller. So we could go to 0 0.001 centimeter and execute that. And the smaller this number is, the longer it will take. So I like to start with a large number and then take it down only if I need more detail. So we see now that it looks better than before, but we still have some um, some things going on in the surface. So let me enable my region view so that will calculate a bit faster. So we could have a look at this edge here. We can see that it's not looking perfectly smooth. Um, another thing you can do is to increase the max triangles. So if it doesn't help to make this smaller, if you don't get any more triangles, uh, when you take a look in the heads of display, you would have to bump this up. So right now we are below that threshold of 12 million. But if this was around 12 million, I would try and put this up to maybe 16 or even higher and see if that would help me give me some more triangles. I think in this case, it won't change anything, but let's see. All right, we got some more. So actually this one was uh, putting a limit on our triangle size here, but it took also a bit longer to calculate. So let me put back that back down to 12. Um, because another thing you can do is to uh, take or be aware of your texture maps. Make sure that they are in a high enough resolution. And then also, if possible, use 16-bit uh, TIFF files or 32-bit EXR files, uh, if you can, instead of JPEG files. So I have this file as a TIFF as well. So if I go ahead and load that in, this TIFF file instead of the JPEG and update the geometry node, we should also see an improvement in the quality. So yeah, it got actually quite good, but we still see some uh, tiny artifacts on the edge here. So a third thing you can do is to add a bit of Gaussian blur to your textures. So inside um, Photoshop, I took this texture um, this is the TIFF file. You can see that it has some really sharp edges all around. And inside Photoshop, I added some Gaussian blur to it. So this is the version with the Gaussian blur. We can see that it's not much, but just a tiny bit. And that allows the displacement map to fade a bit more between these different values. And this will give us a more smooth result as well. So let's add that in as the map. Take the one with the Gaussian blur and hit open and execute the geometry node. So pay attention to the edge down here. We can see that it's really jagged at the moment and also the corner here and so forth and see how uh, that Gaussian blur will improve the quality. All right, here we go. So now it's looking really, really good in my eyes. Um, it's looking really smooth and everything. We don't have these artifacts anymore, so um, these were some tips to uh, to make that look better. Um, if you are using a procedural texture, uh, like here, uh, let me open up the material graph for that. And let me switch to my uh, fall off uh, example here. Because when you use procedural textures, you don't have the option to add uh, Gaussian blur. Uh, but what you can do instead for at least some of the procedures is to add a bit of fall off. So at this point in time, we just have a completely black and white uh, map raising these cylinders from the surface of this flat disk. And we can see that the edge is quite jagged, even though we have a ton of triangles. Um, so what I can try and do here is to go down to the settings of the, uh, the mesh and make sure to add a bit of fall off. So let's try and add 0.2. And let me show you one thing here as well. So whenever you change some settings in a texture that is um, connected to a displace node or change some settings inside the displace node, you will also get this small icon telling you that you have made some changes uh, relating to displacement and it hasn't, have not been updated. So. Hitting this one would be the same as hitting execute geometry node. It's just sitting here in the corner of the uh, real-time view. So let's hit this one this time. 
and wait for it to calculate and pay attention to the edges here and see how the fall off will help to make it look uh, a bit better at least. Here we go, way smoother. We have the same amount of triangles, but by adding that, uh, that tiny hint of fall off, uh, it smoothened out these edges.